Police have arrested at least 15 people with alleged bikey links after raids across Sydney's southwest. With many of the major players now behind bars, detectives are worried that new gangs could form to fill a power void. To stop that, the opposition wants the government to push through new laws targeting the unexplained wealth of underworld figures. Crime reporter Mark Reddy. For those with alleged links to bikey gangs, life is becoming pretty unbearable. Police! FBO! Open the door! During a five-day blitz, heavily armed police raided 52 homes and apartments across Sydney's southwest. More than $150,000 in cash was seized, drugs too, including cannabis and ice, as well as weapons and three stolen cars. At least 15 men were arrested, seven of them at a drug lab at Lansvale. The individuals that were targeted are engaged in organised crime activity, which is leading to the current conflicts that are occurring in South West Sydney. The operation was led by Strike Force Hawk, which was set up after the assassination of Salim and Tufik Hamzi last October. The opposition has criticised the government over a delay in laws that would allow police to target the unexplained wealth of underworld figures. Such laws are already in place in Western Australia and police here believe they could help them in their ongoing war against the drug trade. If someone's got a Maserati, a Ferrari and a waterfront home and they're technically unemployed, they need to explain where the source of that wealth come, came from. Well, I'm hopeful that it will get through. Um, you know, obviously it's still uh, before Cabinet uh, and that'll be a Cabinet decision, but I certainly want to see it happen sooner rather than later. A plea for more powers from the front line. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.